They're getting ready to face the Rays in game one of the World Series. And the boys in blue are aiming for their first title since 1988. Mm -hmm. CBS 2's Car Finstrom is live at Dodger Stadium with a look at the excitement. Car, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. We are just four wins away from putting up another World Championship Series banner right here in the stadium. Does not get more exciting than that. And joining us live this morning, we have Rick Monday, Dodger broadcaster, and you were part of one of those uh, banners uh, back in 81. Can we see that ring? Right here. You know what's really nice is that you have, I wore this ring every day because it reminds me of, of 24 other teammates, our manager, Tom Lasorda, all the coaches, the front office personnel with the Dodgers and all the fans too. And I know what these guys are going through today because um, it, you, you dream about this from a seven-year-old when you're playing Little League and, and you move up and you say, well, okay, fine, we're in the World Series. I dare you to throw me a pitch. It's the bottom of the ninth inning. Well, the Dodgers... Uh, did some damage. They came from behind. They beat the Atlanta Braves. They've all got that little pit in their stomach about, hey, this is going to be game one of the World Series, the biggest stage you can play on in this in this profession. And I wish them well because they played well enough uh, to get there. And this is a very talented team. And hopefully they have a banner up here very, very soon. You want to see that 2020 for sure. We want to also give folks at home a look at where you've been doing your work. A little different these days, because usually you can talk to the players, get a little bit of information from them. How are you doing your job? These well, days? we're doing it long distance because the ball club is in Arlington, Texas, has been there for a number of weeks, even when they've gone on the road during the regular season. I'm doing the uh, broadcast from one of the luxury suites, not even from a broadcast booth. I'm there with Dwayne McDonald, our producer engineer. My broadcast partner, Charlie Steiner, is on the west side of L.A. in his home, he has a setup right there, so we have not seen one another. Charlie and I worked two games in Arizona when spring training first began, the very first games. We've not seen one another since uh, the end of February, and yet we're doing ball games each and every day. It's been a challenge. It's been a lot of fun. And to watch this ball club, the way that it has gone about its business, has been delightful. Everyone's so excited. Game time, 5.09 tonight. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts just as we head in? We've got Kershaw on the mound tonight. Well, uh, first of all, breathe. Uh, <laughs> just go ahead and take a, take a moment and breathe. Uh, bask in the moment because there were 30 teams that began this journey thinking this is going to be the year that we'll get to the world championship. There are only two teams left. They have the best records in baseball. The Rays are the best record in the American League. The Dodgers the best record in Major League Baseball this year. For them to be able to go at the biggest stage, uh, there's going to be limited fans in the stands. But I know that there's going to be a lot of people representing the Dodgers, whether it be in the parking lot here at Dodger Stadium, watching on the big screen, listening to it, watching it, or just thinking about them today. Uh, this is fun for all of us. Nervous? Yes. And if it didn't mean anything, we wouldn't be nervous about it. So true. Thank you so much for joining us. Getting up early this morning, we know it's going to be a long day for you. DeMarco, Suzanne, savor the moment while we can. Hey, oh, and we're Rick, take it in. Yeah, Rick's an expert. Hey, you were you won the championship back in '81, was it? Oh, he can't hear us. Car can, but nice 81. to have a Dodgers great 81. with us. 81. 81. 81. Pretty 81. awesome. All right, thank you.